From the trenches of the Somme to the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan, they put themselves in harm's way so that we might be safe. But more people than ever are being publicly unmasked as Walter Mitties by genuine ex-service people. You're genuine, right? <laughs> Even asking me that question is, is it rather insulting, yeah. This man turned up to a military march last October in a uniform Sky News has verified as mismatched and wrong. The badges on the uniform were stuck on with super glue, whereas you would expect badges to be sewn on. Um, the scrim net around his neck, uh, you wouldn't wear that. That's sort of what features in the likes of Dad's Army. As the law stands, it's not illegal to wear a military uniform you haven't earned, and that's something a group of anonymous internet vigilantes want changed. They say they've exposed more than 300 Walter Mitty characters since 2012 for exaggerating or simply fabricating a military history. Maybe it's the legacy of Afghanistan or perhaps just the consequence of social media. But for whatever reason, more men, and it is almost exclusively men, are pretending to have served in our military. Now that's wrong of them, there's no doubt about that. And you can see why so many service people and veterans find it so offensive. But do these people really deserve to be humiliated so publicly? Richard Lee believes he was unjustly exposed. You get your commission on, on day one, so from day one of joining, um, you become a second lieutenant and you refer to yourself as a second lieutenant and as, as a Royal Marine. Military sources have confirmed to Sky News that Richard Lee served as a Royal Marines officer from September 2007 to October 2008, but he dropped out before earning his Green Beret. We had to get the police involved in numerous occasions. Um, we had to actually have the police stationed at our house. Um, they were making extra patrols. We had people trespassing on our property. He was named by the group after his race company's website marketed his military credentials. So uh, I believe it's factually correct here and the term and the prominence within the page um, is not a great amount and it wasn't, didn't appear on our page for a long period of time. The Walter Mitty Hunters Club deny any mistake in exposing Richard Lee, but ex-SAS soldier Phil Campion questions how some groups name and shame people. I, I do 100% get where this stolen valor thing comes from, but to gang up and, and, and you know, sort of like expose people and, and, and do it to the degree of Mickey taking that they've done, banter or not banter, for me takes it a step too far sometimes. It's a psychological game of hunter and hunted. Many people question any form of vigilante justice and the lack of accountability that goes with it. But the Walter Mitty Hunters Club says until the government passes a law to stop people wearing uniforms they haven't earned, they'll carry on doing the job they feel the authorities ought to. Sean Dilley, Sky News.